What are you looking at? The plastic things in your backyard. What's that bottle against the fence? Oh, that's like trying a, to burn down the backyard. No, it's like odor eliminator. Odor? My dogs sometimes pee back there. Ooh. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions, you idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram, Twitter, 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 um, it would suck if you had done that. That's never happened, thankfully. Well, yeah, We're yeah. not that stupid. I hope not. That would be terrible. <laughs> um, I believe it's our fourth Telugu film. We're a little short on Telugu films. Going to try to get more in. Sorry yeah. about that. Uh, but yeah. it's our... It's our <laughs> yeah. and, and the people in Assam are like, yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> Well, Telugu is actually one of the <laughs> biggest industries. I, they have the biggest, uh, like, working lot yeah like they're in the guinness book of world records for having the biggest sound stage acreage lot really yes oh that's they cool. actually hold a lot of world records in the well, film world outside but they're i think the largest industry outside of bollywood yeah. hindi yeah cinema but uh this is our fourth our first though um independent to film uh more independent because the other ones were Big budget. Yeah. Oh, Bahubali, Iga, and... And then, of uh, course, Bahubali 2. Bahubali 2, Which of course. we just have seen over and over Just again. watch that one a lot. Yeah. Just when you got nothing better to do, we throw that bad boy out. Anyways, we were watching Care of Kankapalakalalam. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you said for the reaction? I have no idea. Uh, I like that one better. Whatever that, that one is. How do you was. pronounce that place? Uh, Kantarapalam. Uh, it's a 2008 uh, Telugu uh, film, four unconventional love stories set in a town, and including the people of Kalapasaram. By the way, if you haven't seen this, uh, you're going to get spoiled. Yeah. So... Yeah, if you haven't seen uh, it, uh, if you want to watch it, go watch, watch it, it, come back, and then uh, if, you've, if you like to be spoiled, don't go watch the film. And to let the film tell its story for you, please. Yes. Uh, but this is directed and written by... Say his name for me, Rick. Uh, Vankatesh uh, Maha. But in the credits mm -hmm. was just the last name. Written and directed by Maha. And this is his directorial... Directorial debut. Debut. Correct. So, Rick, your initial thoughts. I had something happen with this film... That has never happened to me before. Mm -hmm. In the history of the thousands of films I have seen, something happened with this film that has never happened before in my life. What? I have never had a film whose first half frustrated me, bored me, and I was hoping it would come to an end, and I was doing it just because I knew I needed to do it. And the second half moved me to tears. <laughs> Literally cried. Yeah. I have never had that happen. Yeah. So, um, <laughs> but so essentially you did enjoy it. Ultimately I walked to my utter astonishment mm -hmm. because there was more I was finding that I wasn't enjoying about it and to really doing my best to look for the, the silver lining and all the clouds. Ultimately, have way more good to take away than I mm. than than not. I I actually really enjoyed this film. I can see why it, some would think it would be very long. I I think it could it could have done with a hour thirty to two hours as opposed to almost two and a half. Absolutely, I, I think um, it didn't bother me <clears throat> all that much. But yes, definitely the first half is not the best half of this film. I, I've never had I've never uh, had such grand extremes in a single film. Really where it really started to get interesting was when 
the the love between the younger gentleman and the prostitute. Yes. I think that's where it really started to get nice and juicy. And they were the strongest actors. Yeah, by far. Sure. They were the ones I was most interested in watching. Mm -hmm. uh, she's a really beautiful lady. Yeah. And they just had chemistry. They were fully believable. So whenever they were on screen, mm -hmm. I was most engaged. Um, but this literally... It's like two different films. I don't know what happened. Uh, it was like I got pumped or something. No, I think he just one. This is his first film, obviously, so you're gonna see some, some, and some newcomer um, stuff. Um, a lot of newbies. I, I I read somewhere like eighty people from this town were just asked to be a part of it because it's about the town. So for for a director to view a bunch of new actors, a bunch of people that's have incredibly never difficult. So I do want to commend him because I ended up really enjoying this film. Uh, how soon did you call the ending? I didn't. You didn't? Nope. I wouldn't have either. I didn't. I Were you watching with your wife? Yes. Then you, she ruined it for you. Because <laughs> no, she, she, she knew it was coming probably within the first 25 minutes. No, she called it once uh, they started, the, her, him and the prostitute started. She was like, I think this is all of them. Okay, yeah. I had no <laughs> idea. She called because she... At uh, the guy, he uh, the younger one called Priest. Right. She's like, the older man has called a friend Priest before. So she caught up. Yeah, well, she's, she's a Ravenclaw, man. She's, she's really, the brain. She's really intelligent. She's very insightful, <laughs> intelligent. And I, I didn't, it was revealed to me when the director wanted it to be revealed to me. Mm -hmm. And that's what made me cry. Gotcha. Was the fact that this story, and the he saved, a, I don't know how this worked out, but the best moment for those actors was that moment laying down talking. Mm. So he saved like their best moment for that important time of him explaining when I, I'd been in love before and you realized that these were all his story. And it not only was a beautiful reveal for that, but it tied up so much of the larger aspect for me that we're gonna talk about of the importance of the things that the movie talks about. Yeah, um, so Th this film was, uh, I think, Mostly well done. Obviously, uh, I think there's some parts that either they were budgetary or they were just new actors, new new director. You'll see some of those with that, and that just comes with territory of a first time director. If if we directed a feature for the first, you're gonna see some first time, some mess ups oh, basically. Uh, all, I don't even want to know what my first time directing yeah. would look like. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a film. You've directed theater. I've directed before. theater, but I've never directed a film. Um, but. Um, I think mostly it's it's very good because one, this was a incredibly immersive. A lot of times you're just you're walking into these situations and like, what, like into culturally. That's a whole other ball culturally. Yeah, we got. Let's talk about that. Yeah, it's. It was. I, we've seen a lot of films, but there was a lot in this that I was just like. <laughs> Yeah. Why? It, I'm not. That's not a, a dig on the film at all. That's that's just like an American coming at this. We're just gonna have questions. Why does it matter that he's 49 in, and unmarried? <laughs> in, in Rani, when I was talking to her about it, when I was watching the first half, and Rani gave a good example. Mm -hmm. And this is a. She used a grand, a hyperbolic extreme. Mm -hmm. She said, if you saw, and we're not. This is not a comparison no. to South India, to the country I'm about to reference. It's a reference that's comparing a hyperbolic exaggeration about cultural difference that we can't wrap our head You're around. Doomed. So here we go. You're doomed. <laughs> if there was a film that came out of Saudi Arabia yeah. depicting a woman driving a car. Yeah. And what a shock that would be to everybody in Saudi Arabia. Yeah. Because that's only been made legal recently. Yeah. Uh, for us, it would be, why is everyone freaking out that a woman's driving? Because yeah. like, women have driven here and my whole life around the world right so those but yeah. that's that is actually yeah I'm part of the beauty I'm, of the film yeah I'm so glad we saw I was thinking about this driving over I'm so glad we saw this now and not a year ago yeah because I think there's a lot uh, I would have been hung up on yeah with the shock of people actually live with that kind of yeah uh, stricture and uh, yeah. sense of sense of like in the town, you can call a guy out for having not been married and shame him for being 49 and thinking of getting married. But we've been exposed enough to know that, yes, there are regions little where that villages, is. Little villages, yeah. Little villages have that, that kind of and, culture embedded in them. And with every relationship, there was those shocks. 
like with the little girl, uh, which was, I think, a cute little story uh, of him yeah. when they were younger. But obviously the dad coming in and scolding her for singing mm -hmm. and, and then take it. It's like, what? Uh, and then when they get older and it's, uh, I don't know which one's next. It's, oh yeah, it's it's the one where the, the she's the, the guy that beats up the other people. Right. And, and he goes off to go, go to work and the dad said, if you do that, I'm going to kill you. And if you, if you do that, I'm going to kill, kill myself. myself. Right. Uh, that's just obviously... Mind boggling, and we've heard that before in films. It's, right. it's, it's not new, but it's still mind boggling that that would be somebody's reaction. And Correct. then you get to the next one, and it's um, what's the next one? The prostitute and the prostitute, obviously. Uh, and and the whole the thing with the Muslim, uh, the killing her, right? But and even it, before that, even something as I know as common as having not spoken really a word to this girl other than when she's made a purchase for alcohol and asking her to marry Mary, you, yeah, uh, which is like arranged marriages. Yeah. We don't have that here in the United States. No, not really. But because we've been exposed to enough of it, that is where... It's part of the beauty of that's it, though. Exactly. It's, 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 it's culturally immersive. It's culturally immersive, and it is, you know, for our standards here in America and the civil rights of people and where our countries come from to where it is now, because yeah. we still have a long way to go, and but we've come a long way. Mm -hmm. um, this can't be measured in terms of what we understand or even what is global. Mm -hmm. This can only be measured by terms of the region. And because of that, this is a really important film because he is, he is saying some things about mm -hmm. embedded uh, Jolly Katu kind of herd mentality. Yeah. Right? And bringing and questioning it, demanding it be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately this movie, this is what makes me so, it's it's very revolutionary in terms of the movie ends up being a love story between a 49-year-old and a 42-year-old who, in America, that's not that big a deal. No. But in that part of the world, yeah. when you have a tribal lifestyle, it is, it is revolutionary to say she's that it's okay for both of them to fall in love and get married. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it was incredibly tragic at times. Oh, yeah. Obviously, because oh, yeah. of multiple stuff that happened to his lovers. Sickening. Yeah. And then and then it ended up being like a... For a while, at the beginning, you're like, okay, this is a very happy... Love, look, we're just going to have a movie about four happy love stories. How how wonderful. <laughs> and then, obviously, the stuff just kept happening yeah. to Egypt. I'm like, okay... He killed his dad, which was well, terrible. Well, and think think about, if you take all four of those stories and you realize that's all him, right? You realize he had his heart broken by the first girl he ever loved being taken away from him. And then the second girl had his heart broken because his she dad just, died. And his dad, dad died and he could point to himself and go, I, I caused my dad to kill himself, right? Yeah. Then another girl. <clears throat> Then another mm -hmm. girl gets killed and taken from him. Yet, even in the midst of all that, even in, with societal pressures saying, you're too old to get married, what do you think you're doing? The guy still maintained a cheery disposition and an optimism and a hope that, you know what, I, it's still okay <clears throat> for me to be happy and maybe start and find love again. After four, four failed attempts, three failed attempts, I actually, I found, I found the love of my life when I was 50. I love it. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, it's, 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 Really, really nice. I ended up walking away from it. Really, really enjoy. I have much more good to say than bad. The bad, there's some acting, of course, obviously with some newcomers, and that's you, the primary you could, thing. You could tell that. Yep. Um, low budgetary stuff like the fights. Obviously, <laughs> they were pretty. But, they were pretty bad in terms. But of... But at least the director knew well enough mm -hmm. to uh, to pull away and not yeah. really show us the bad. You know. Yeah. It was. It was more like. Yeah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Oh, you're, oh, yeah, beat you up. And obviously you get that a lot of times with low-budget stuff, right. which is why you don't normally have action in low-budget stuff. Because right. it's, it takes money and talent to make those look believable. Shout out to the stunt people. Yeah, uh, stunt coordinators and stunt actors. Yep. Um, and so, But those are, those are very small, and I think it could have done with maybe shortening it by 30 minutes and still have the same impact. Yeah. Um, but I didn't, like I said, I ended up, Actually, really enjoying. I thought they actually the quality. I don't know what kind of camera you shot on. No kidding. It was. I have a 4K television. It was beautiful. I literally <laughs> at one point was watching it and thought, if I tried to make my own movie at home, mm -hmm. I've I've got a nice. My iPhone gives you a really nice picture. Yeah. 
Is he using a red camera? What is he using? Yeah, he must have been using something real nice because it was crystal clear on uh, on 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 my screen, and it was absolutely gorgeous. Uh, it, like any of the night shots. So whoever the cinematographer was, is this the cinematographer? No, it's the director. And why do I feel like I want to make sure we're saying he? Uh, something's telling oh. me that maybe it, it. Why do I feel like I? I'm unsure, and there's no picture, and I don't want to make the mistake if for some reason. No, it's a gentleman. Okay, great. Looks just like just it. making sure. Yeah. Good, 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 good. Um. So yeah, agreed. Yeah. So overall, I, I actually really, really enjoyed this film, and um, it was really, it was, it was sad, but in the end, it was it was very touching. I'm not kidding. <laughs> I I went I my posture. If you'd seen my body language watching mm -hmm. it, I went from this to tears coming down my <laughs> cheeks. This one made you cry. Yes! Multiple times or just at the just end? Just at the end. Just when the end. reveal came and it was, they were all him. And I realized, and they had that, my, the really only genuine, beautiful, tender moment for the two of them laying there at the end. And he's telling his story and she gives him the playful little pat on the arm. And I was, I was thinking to myself, this is an, this is a, I've said often, I want to see love stories for people that aren't in like 20s and 30s. Yeah. And that this was all about this guy and that even everything that he went through and in the midst of a, a culture that's f trying to force him to do something with very, so many of the women here were like, I don't care what you say, dad, culture. Yeah. Very strong women in this. I did. I, it got me. I didn't see the twist coming and I found the story to be so beautiful that it moved, it literally moved me to tears. And so I went from this to doing this completely gobsmacked because I've never had a motion picture take me from almost boyhood frustration at the outset, <laughs> almost with, gotcha. the, with the acting gotcha. to tears. And I like thought the film was beautiful. I wonder if this was filmed chronologically. Uh, cause I, I feel like everybody got better. Uh, yeah, uh, hugely, uh, toward uh, like, and cause normally most, I know most people that like film know this, it, most films are not, Shot chronologically. Yeah, you just don't have that luxury. No, you, you, whatever set is, I mean, whatever location's available, whatever set is open, those are the scenes you shoot that day. Right, and look, so for example, if the beginning of the film and the end of the film were in Corbin's house, you're not gonna set up in Corbin's house on day one, go film and then come back on day 21 and film here at the end. You're gonna film the first and last scene on day one. Mm -hmm. in the house yeah so i don't know maybe you didn't also i do want to commend the the score as well I thought the, yes the score thank you was very so the score was beautiful uh, i'm so know. glad you remembered to say that uh um, very well, composer is say his name right here uh sweetheart agati and the beautiful score cinematographer it looks like he's a new cinematographer well there's two both look very yeah. new so uh cinematography even though it was simple it, it, exactly it was absolutely crystal it would that's what it was it wasn't it, there wasn't anything framed or shot in a way that was extraordinary mm. it was the cleanliness of everything yeah everything was so crystal clear made it even more immersive in terms of the getting into the yeah culture. it was really clean yeah so. uh and so yeah uh t flabbergasted what would you give it uh, initially, I was well, sincere I know, at the outset. I was overall, giving it a D. Yeah, I know. Uh, overall, overall, okay. I, ha I have two scores for it. Uh -huh. International cinema, it's a B. Uh -huh. For for this part of the world and what it's saying uh, for for the culture and the people of this place, gotcha. I think it's an A plus. Yeah. Uh, I, I think it's an incredibly important movie to question the norms and why. You believe what you believe, and is it just because you've always believed it versus it's right and it's really wrong? You know those kinds of things. Yeah. It's really, really. Yeah, I'd give it a good. B plus to an A minus for yeah. sure. And I think if it was cleaned up just a tad in terms of some of the acting and maybe shortened it just a tad, I think it could very well be a, almost a perfect film. And I've heard it's been remade. Has it? Yes. Oh, I did not know that. And I can see why. <coughs> this movie in Hindi, I'm guessing. Yeah, I believe so. But you could take this story and apply it to any place in the world and then just make the twists you need to make for whatever the for culture, culture is in that region. Time, space, continuum. You could set it in France in 1821. Mm -hmm. You could put it in Chicago in 2019. Gotcha. Uh, it's, a, it's a really great story. So, yeah, that's it. Let us know what's next Telugu film. Uh, 
<laughs> we should watch. Uh, in terms of, especially in terms of independent, because we know there, there's obviously the big budget sure. blockbusters, Bahabali 2, we know that. Um, but no, next independent Telugu film. And why is it that I've heard that both Bengali cinema and Telugu cinema are Tollywood? I've only heard Telugu is Tollywood. So had I. But then I recently saw when I was looking up Tollywood, there's a, a, a region of Bengali cinema that's, that I'm like, I thought that was Telugu. Oh, I did not know. Yeah. Maybe it was a mistake. Let us know down below.